Good morning. Welcome back to the channel. It's Joe with Jolie Farms in Ecuador. I'm here with my good friend, Jose Villa. Jose, thanks for being here today. Okay, you're welcome. <laughs> I'm Jose, glad to, need, glad to see you. <laughs> Jose is a really good guy. Um, for those of you who don't know who Jose is, his sister is Otter Villa, who uh, has the happy office in Vilcabamba. Uh, you've seen that video recently. <clears throat> his whole family here are friends of ours, and uh, his father, um, who, who is Byron Sr., yeah? Yeah, Byron, Byron yeah. Villa. And mm -hmm. then your little brother, Byron Jr.? Byron Jr., he's the last. <laughs> yeah, and so let's see how many you've got. Um, Jennifer is your younger sister. Yeah. Order is your older sister. Yeah, Aura is the oldest. Uh, Fernando, Fernando. I, am, I am in the middle. The You're medium. in the middle. Yeah, so then Jennifer, uh, the baby is Byron Jr., you know. Okay. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so um, Jennifer, Jose, Aura, they all speak English and very, very good English. And uh, so they're just wonderful people, wonderful family. You should get to know them when you're here in Vilcabamba. Um, there's a lot of great things they can help you with. And Jose is, um, has been helping me here, gosh, how many years now? Four or five? Uh, almost five. Yeah, yeah, for yeah five about years. five years. <laughs> um, his father came and, uh, first, and Jose came to help his father. He was training under his father as a maestro. Mm -hmm. What do they call it? Maestro. Maestro, yeah, Mason. Mm -hmm. uh, Mason, basically, mm -hmm. yeah. He does all types of brickwork, um, concrete work. He did tile around the outside of my house. They did tile in our um, container. Done tile all yeah. over the place here, haven't yeah. you? Yeah. <laughs> we well, renew your place, basically. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Renew the place. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So tell them what all kind of work you do. So I do all kind of bricks. Uh, I do stone walls. I do. I did garden beds for Joe. You can see around, it's beautiful, with rocks, with the little rocks, and I mentioned tile already, so I don't know, but tile, roofing, now I am welding, so we can do all kind of uh, construction, so if you have a house from the beginning, we can make it because I have my own team, my uncles, my father, so I know, I have my contacts, so every, every kind of construction. You know. mm -hmm. And his father taught him the right way to do things. Mm -hmm. I had, um, I'll show a picture of my driveway here. Mm -hmm. um, I had some tracks made in the upper part, which didn't turn out too well. But Jose made the tracks in the lower part of my driveway. My driveway is very steep, so the cars have to, you know, have a little struggle going up. So um, Jose dug down into the ground, put in these great big rocks and pounded them in. And then he put... Um, uh, steel, steel reinforcement mesh, yeah. steel on top of that mm -hmm. then he poured concrete on top of that yeah and it made them a little wider so easier to drive the car on yeah of course and 50 years of warranty <laughs> 50 year warranty he says yeah. they'll be there long after i'm not yes. <laughs> <laughs> he'll be driving that driveway someday thinking about me <laughs> yeah <laughs> so he knows the right way to do that kind of construction because his father uh, you know, raised him that way and showed yes. him the proper way to do things. Yes. I started to work when I was a kid, so with him. I was his helper when I was 11 years old. So approximately I'm almost 20 years in the, in the thing, you know. Wow, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. So he's been around um, and seen a lot, and uh, he's even done some plumbing work for me and stuff. Yeah, and yeah plumbing. A little bit of everything. Mm -hmm. A little bit of everything, not electricity. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't like That's electricity. That's the only thing, yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't blame him. Mm -hmm. So your father, is your father still working? or? Yes, he's working right now. Yeah, he's renewing a house. He yeah. has a lot of work because, like you know, he's a good maestro and he's very busy for a while. Yeah, mm -hmm. a lot of people ask for, for Byron Sr. and sometimes yeah. they have to wait. <laughs> <laughs> I had to yeah. wait for Jose. He went, yeah. I, I mistakenly introduced him to a friend of mine and a friend of mine kept him almost a year <laughs> two years yeah yeah yeah. yeah. <laughs> so like forever he's been over there finally back helping me again but uh, yeah. but we liked it we want jose to be able to mm -hmm. succeed and do well yeah so your father he fell off a roof a while back didn't yes he? he did yeah he was working on the top of my aunt's house and he, the roof was wet i think and he fell down his light down and go to the floor and uh, knock his head so, but uh, thanks to God, he's okay. So he only had a, a, 
uh, who do you ble bleeding is the word, right? Yeah. It's yeah. kind of bleeding, but not inside the brain. So it was out. So it's not dangerous. So uh -huh. that's a good thing. Yeah, but he's okay. That's the important thing, you know? No internal yeah. bleeding. That's yeah. good. No, yeah. No so he's back bleeding. to normal now? Yes, yeah, not back to yeah. normal. Anymore. Every day he has to take, a, uh, who do you say? A, a blood thinner? Yes, the blood uh, thinner. Blood yeah. thinner uh -huh. yeah. yeah, but the rest is okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is um, a, a hazard here in Ecuador. They don't really have workman's comp insurance where you get paid when you can't work. Our dogs just like Jose, so they've come to visit for a while. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Lacey likes her. Mm -hmm. Osa's still getting used to Jose, but she'll get there. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, there's no worker's compensation insurance, so if you can't work, you just don't get paid. I mean, yeah, exactly. it's, it's a tough mm -hmm. part about life here when you're doing uh, manual labor. Yeah, exactly. It's a part of life. Mm -hmm. Jose has a, a beautiful family of his own. He's got a young boy named Eric. Eric, yeah. Yeah. How old is he now? Three? Um, three and eight months. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah he'll he's, be four soon. Yeah. <laughs> I remember when Eric was born. Yeah, yeah. he's getting bigger fast, you know. <laughs> bigger fast. Eric yeah. has... Um, uh, um, yeah, he has a condition, you know. Uh -huh. Yeah, has, I uh, yeah. completely forgot the word for yeah. it. Autism. Autistic. Yeah. He has autism. Yeah, uh -huh. and, but he's a really lovely kid, you know. Yeah. I mean, mm -hmm. We love him and everybody loves him. You know, he's, he's a very sweet, sweet kid. Yeah, yeah. you know. <laughs> well, yeah. Jose has to take him to uh, Cuenca sometimes to uh, for therapy and to learn Checking, how to, yeah, how to mm -hmm. better deal with the, uh, the condition that he has. Yeah. And fortunately, a good friend of ours' daughter moved here, and she has a son with the same condition. Oh, yeah? Mm. Yeah, Manny's daughter. Oh, Manny. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah. I know. Yeah. Him. Yes, of course. Yeah. There are a lot of people here. Not not all, but I know a couple kids who are the same. So I can talk with them and share and share opinions, how to take care of them. And that's a good thing. It helps a lot. You know? mm -hmm. Do the doctors say why they think kids get autism? or? No, not as, no, not yet. They don't know yet the they science. They have no opinion, yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. They always ask you who was the pregnant, uh, did you have problems or stress and all that stuff. But they, they, don't, they don't tell you why it's the, the cause. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But let's yeah. see. Mm -hmm. Well, there's a large belief out there that um, a lot of the vaccines yeah, are, could be are the causing vaccines. The yes, the antibiotics. autism. Antibiotics too, because my, my son, when he was born, yeah, yeah he got a lot of shots and antibiotics and all that stuff. You know. I think that could be a reason. Yeah. That's very mm -hmm. possible. Very possible. Yeah. Well, yeah. it's it's tough, but it's nothing that you can't handle. Yeah. <laughs> he's going to have a great life, and I know your yeah. family's going to give it to him. Yeah. And your mother, I'm sure, babies him a lot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Everybody at home loved him. He's yeah. a, he has he receives a special love. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> His yeah. mom's a very sweet lady. Yeah. We love them all. Mm -hmm. um, so, Jose, um, so you've built garden beds for me. You've done tile work for me. We've done the driveway work. Um, we're doing brick work for my driveway in here. We're pulling up all the bricks that were already there, yeah. and um, we're getting all the grass out, and we're re-cementing those back yes. in place because uh -huh. uh, I never had cement before. It's always just sand. Yeah, sand, yeah. Is there anything that I'm missing? I mean, you do the welding. Working on some of those projects for me. Yeah, the welding. Yeah. Dry stack walls. You've done uh, dry stack rock walls for me. Yes, of course. Yeah, yeah. Well, that kind of. It has cement, so I can make it. <laughs> yeah, cement, rocks, brick, mm -hmm. any of that kind of thing. Yes. And Jose and his dad are also very artistic, like Aura is, and uh, so they do some pretty neat mosaics with tile, and mm. some uh, yeah, different sure. designs and things. Yes. They have some, you know, really good ideas. <laughs> yeah, I have to think about it then. So, um, Jose and his family live right in the center of Vilcabamba. I'm going to leave his contact phone number in the description box of this video so you can reach out to Jose if you want him to come and look at a job, something in particular that needs to be done. Um, mm -hmm. You can give them an estimate kind of or tell yes, them how much you charge. And I can charge by, I can make an as a contract or per day. The minimum per day here is $30 a maestro. And but if you have a contract, I have to look at your job and see how much you're going to spend and all that, you know, in any way you want. Mm -hmm. So it's also, you know, when you're paying him $30 a day, a lot of these jobs are going to take a helper too. So you yes. got to pay a helper 20, 20... 25 is the minimum right 25 now. 25 minimum yeah. right uh -huh. now. Yeah. Mm 
-hmm. So you got a helper and a maestro. So figure $55 to $60 a day. They have to travel far. Um, mm -hmm. There'll probably be some travel fees in there, yeah? Yes. Uh -huh. It depends yeah. how far it is. Mm -hmm. yeah. Got to mm -hmm. pay for fuel or the bus or something yeah. for that, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, so yeah, if it's mm -hmm. right within Vilcabamba proper, that's one thing. But like traveling up here to my house, you know, normally people have to take the bus. And yeah. uh, mm -hmm. there's, you know, I don't know what the bus is up here, but it's at least a buck fifty each. Yes. Uh-huh. Taxi's four dollars up here to my house. Ah, uh, yeah, for sure. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah, but it's easier for me because I have my own transportation, so I can go anywhere. Yeah. You no problem go. for that. Mm-hmm. Very good. Yeah. Very good. Mm -hmm. I forgot you got a motorcycle. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. That's how you got here this morning. Yeah. <laughs> I'm losing it. I'm getting old. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. So, Jose, is there anything you want to tell the people about, about the work you do or about... Um, you know, your business in general? Yeah, so I I started to work by myself like five years ago. So first I was a helper for my dad. So he told me everything. So it's like a chain because my because my grandfather told my father, my father told me, and someday I probably have to teach my son. Uh, you know how is how it works. Yeah. So, but I can do all a little bit of everything, you know? I can do tile, bricks, uh, right now I'm doing welding and uh, I can make stone walls like Joe says, uh, beds, all, all that kind of has cement. So you only have to ask me what do you want to do and I can make the estimate or all the upper days, whatever you want. So that's, that's how I work. <laughs> it's a generational thing. They, they pass on these skills to the sons and um, yeah. Jose is proud to be part of that heritage. Yeah. And, you know, you have to find people here that take great pride in their work, yeah. and you will see that in the craftsmanship. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> anybody can slap something together, but someone who takes pride in their work, and that's the kind of people that we like to recommend, uh, yeah. <laughs> that we look for. Yeah, there is an history behind all that, because my grandfather was one of the first masons here. Oh, really? Yes, he was. A, there were only four or five maestros in all the valley. So he had a lot of job. He built all the old houses you look around. Uh, but right now, you know, is that he told my father and he left. To, he stopped to work uh, like 20 years ago because he is already 90 years. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah but so he's he, still living. Yeah, he's still living. Wow. Yeah, he's still alive. But. Sometimes he still works. He helps. He likes to help. Really? Yeah. At 90 years old. That's 90 amazing. 90 years old. Yeah. <laughs> they call this the Valley of Longevity. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All my uncles also are, are masons, are builders. So, we, I have 11 uncles. 11 uncles. Yeah. Wow. Uncles and aunts. So, six yeah. male and five male. Mm -hmm. Wow. Wow. All of them masons. So, welders, uh, builders, and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. So if you ever have a, a, a question you're stumped on, you can call your family. Yes, Somebody knows how to do it. Exactly. <laughs> if, <laughs> if I have a big project, so I I meet I meet all my family, all my team, and we can make it from the beginning. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Jose has a brother-in-law, Outer's husband. His name is yes. Paul. Yeah. Really nice guy. Um, he's been up here. We've met Paul several times, and he is in school right now. He's got his engineering degree, and yeah. he's in Civil. school with. Jose's best friend, Ricardo. Yeah, uh huh. Both of them are professionals in construction too, because they are engineers right now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so uh, sometime early, uh, early later today, my brother is studying electricity, electrician, to oh. be an electrician. Yeah, so Byron Jr.? Byron Jr. Oh, yeah. wow, very yeah, good. Yeah, he he's learning a lot of electricity. Maybe Perfect. the next year, he, he will integrate with our team <laughs> of constructors. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, that's fantastic. I hope you reach out to Jose for any of your projects um, and he'll tell you what he can and can't do. So if it's something that he doesn't think is, you know, right up his alley, he'll tell you, yeah, maybe someone else would be better. But I think that, you know, there's not much this guy can't do, can do a lot of things. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, Jose, that's... we really appreciate you coming and talking to I us really today. I really appreciate you too. Thanks. <laughs> all right. We appreciate all your subscribes and we hope you'll give this video a thumbs up. Okay. Ciao okay, for now. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.